Okay, so so far I talked about testing a hypothesis on the left hand side of a normal curve, on the right hand side of a normal curve or on both sides of a normal curve. In this video, I'm going to talk about a more general case where we are going to set our null hypothesis in such a way that the value of beta j it is equal to a particular value a j and our alternative hypothesis would be that this value is not equal to that value. We will calculate t stat as uh, the estimated value of the beta minus the hypothesized value of uh, beta which is a j in this case and we're going to divide it by the standard error of beta j and again we are going to use a rejection rule and compare the critical value with uh, this uh, calculated value to see whether we're going to reject the null hypothesis or we are uh, fail to reject uh, the null hypothesis. Okay, so let's work with an example. So this is an example of annual number of crimes on college campuses. Here we are interested in uh, relating the annual number of crimes on college campuses as shown by this variable crime to student enrollment and this student enrollment variable it shows the size of a campus and our initial thought would be that as enrollment increases crime increases as well that is the larger the campus the more crime uh, there will be and uh, we are using log log model where we are regressing log crime on uh, log uh, enrollment beta 1 here represents the elasticity of crime with respect to enrollment and here it will not be very useful to test h0 that beta 1 is equal to 0 as we expect that total number of crimes to increase as the size of the campus increases as shown by enrollment. So as the enrollment increases, the crimes increases. So a more interesting hypothesis to test would be that the elasticity of a crime with respect to enrollment is 1. Right. So we're going to set up our null hypothesis that beta of uh, enrollment will to 1. This means that a 1% increase in enrollment leads to on average a 1% increase in uh, crime. So this is our null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis would be it is not equal to 1. So see we are setting up our null hypothesis differently here. So we're going to calculate our t value and then we're going to compare it with the critical value. So the coefficient value that we estimated is 1.27 and the standard error is 1.09. We're going to plug in everything in the formula and then we're going to get uh, the calculated t value. So here what I'm doing, I'm saving the coefficient value here and uh, the standard error of enrollment here. I'm applying uh, this summary function and then I'm extracting row second. So this is, the, this is row second and argument one, which is this coefficient and then the standard error it is the second column of second row our hypothesized value is one so i'm going to save this and this is our t value 2.45 i'm going to plug in everything here so our t calculated is 1.27 minus 1 over 0 0.11 which is approximately equal to 2.45 so this is our T value and if we plot this value on a normal curve we see that this value is somewhere here and our rejection rule at 5% is 1.96 so we're going to reject our null hypothesis. You can actually calculate uh, the critical T values using this function. I'm going to save alpha at 5% and 1% and remember alpha shows uh, the level of significance and then we're going to apply this alpha to QT function it takes two arguments one minus alpha and uh, the second argument is degrees of freedom which in this case is uh, 95. So there was 97 observations minus uh, two parameters so this will give you degrees of freedoms 95. So if we run these we can get critical values for 5% level of significance and 1% uh, level of significance. So at 5% uh, the critical value is 1.66 and for 1% it is 2.36 because our calculated value 2.47 it is well above both of these numbers so we're going to conclude that uh, we're going to reject the null hypothesis not only at 5% but also at 1% and uh, we're going to reject the null hypothesis in favor of uh, the alternative hypothesis. We're going to reject this null hypothesis and we're going to conclude that the elasticity of uh, crime with respect to enrollment it is not equal to 1. All right, I will see you in the next video to talk about uh, another example.
All right, see you.